Caitlin, this is your factoring by grouping assignment. Uh, you submitted two of these to me. The first one that you did, you know that uh, we weren't really sure what we were doing there. Much better this time. In fact, it's uh, it's almost perfect. I did put one tricky question on there to see if I could catch you, and I did. So let's uh, take a look at these. These are all set up. So as soon as you see 3b plus 1 and 3b plus 1, you pull it out, and you're left with 6y squared minus 4y cubed. So that's all good. Let's look at question number four. You notice that there's a two in each one of these terms. So you could have pulled out the two right from the beginning and then you wouldn't have to deal with it. Since you left it in, that's okay. But notice that there's a two common to this factor. So you pull out the two and you're left with the x plus y and you'd be left with m plus b. So we pull out the two from this factor and that would be completely factored now. Again, 5 and 6 are perfect. 8 and 9 are perfect. And I'm going to go over number 7. When you pull this out, notice that these, these look like they're the same, but they're not. What we have to do is rearrange them. If we switch these two around, we'd have 50m squared minus 25mn plus 12mx minus 6nx. So we take out the 25 m and we're left with 2 m minus n. For this one we'll pull out a 6 a 6 x and you're left with 2 m minus n. So now it's just like the other ones so sometimes you do have to switch the order. Now let's take a look at your answer. You had 25m minus 6x and 2m minus n. So you had the 2m minus n, but this was wrong here. So that one little mistake, again, uh, I think you have a very good understanding of factoring by grouping now, which makes me happy. Talk to you soon.